In this session, let's have a look at two file types that we might want to export our documents as. And this doesn't apply to Outlook specifically. It applies to pretty much all of Office 2007, so Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. One of those two types of files we might already, it's likely that we're, gonna, we're already familiar with. It's called PDF by Adobe Systems. And PDF is the uh, portable document format that allows you to take the, the content of your file and which is editable and put it into a format that's not editable and doesn't lose its position and formatting when you send it to somebody in the way they open it. So it stays consistent. And we've probably been familiar with that just like we have with zip files. So PDF is quite well known, but Microsoft Office, the previous versions, haven't natively, haven't by default been able to export their files or save their files as or print to a PDF file format unless you installed something that allowed you to do that, a third party piece of software. Most commonly, you'd probably install Adobe Acrobat, not the reader, Adobe Acrobat, the producing software, which will then install the, the particular little bits of software that allow you to then print to PDF file types. Uh, and there are various other companies now that produce PDF, um, PDF producing software that you can add on to Office. Well, in Office 2007, Microsoft have pretty much made PDF file format exporting as a function built in. And that's great news for us. <clears throat> What's interesting, though, to remember is that if you are going to produce PDF documents from Microsoft Office, you've still, got to get, you've still got to have a way of reading them. So Adobe Acrobat reading ability has got to be embedded in your machine. The other t file type that I want to mention is XPS, which is Microsoft's version of the PDF. So it's again, the objective is the same. It's a file, <coughs> once you've exported it, the file isn't really editable, but it's going to stay consistent, both formatting color schemes, themes, and styles, um, no matter who you send it to. And it, can be, and it can be compressed, small file size, just like PDF. Uh, what's the difference? Not very much, to be honest. I'd, if I had to choose between the two, given the popularity of PDF, I'd probably choose PDF. But then you've got to argue, people who you're sending a PDF document to need to have a PDF reader. XPS being a Microsoft format, maybe all the new Microsoft operating systems and, and the current ones natively open them anyway, have a reader built in. That's common sense argument. It's not true. For PDF, the recipient would have to have a PDF reader. For XPS, they'd have to have a, an XPS reader. Does that make sense? OK. As time goes on, you'll probably find that with Vista and Internet Explorer 7, and when, if you've got your computer set to automatic Windows update, the XPS reader will be embedded within the next, next update or so anyway, whereas Acrobat reader won't. So let's have a look at those two. We're going to look at them so, uh, both together because they've pretty much achieved the same goal. So I'll just show you what's required to get one operational and then what's required to get the second one operational. Not really, we don't really have to worry about um, what's in the contents. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply open up Microsoft PowerPoint on my machine and I'll go to open a slide that I've had before, which is a file formats. It's just a file called ish file formats. It's a PowerPoint presentation made up of three slides or so. One, two, three. Three slides on the left-hand side. So I want to output these. The place where you go to to try and output files in different formats is the Home button or the Office button at the top. And if we click on that, we can go down to Save As. And if we choose to Save As, we can choose other formats to save it as. And hopefully, down the bottom where it says what type would you like to save it as? If we pull down that list, we should find, if we come down, come down, come down, can't see it at the moment. And if we come down some more, we'll see if we can find PDF and XPS. Nowhere to be found. So we've obviously not got it built in by standard, neither PDF nor XPS. So we've got to do something about it. So if I zoom back out and cancel that and just minimize my PowerPoint, what I've got stored on my hard drive here in a folder is, are some files. And one of them is called save as PDF and xps.exe. Now, this is a file downloaded from the Microsoft website. Invariably, you'll find that this executable will, be, will become part of the standard Windows update files, as I said. And the size of the file is 934K in size. OK, so that's the file we're interested in. So notice it says save as. So if I double click that program, It'll give me the standard warning to say, you sure you want to run this program? Yes, I do. If you do a Google search or in any internet search for it, you'll find it. If you go to the Microsoft website, you'll find it. I accept the license terms down the bottom here. And click Continue. Preparing to install. Installation is complete. I click OK. 
I'll zoom out for you, minimize my Explorer, bring back PowerPoint. Let me just close down PowerPoint and, and open it again so that it can take advantage of the new install. I can go to my Home button up at the top and literally just open up the file that I was opening up before. Here's my presentation. Let's now try to go to the Office button in the top left-hand corner and come down to Save As, and you'll see from the list that we had before, we went to other formats hunting down PDF and XPS, but it's actually got its own entry. So I can choose PDF or XPS, and it brings up the same kind of screen we had before, and down the list at the bottom here, you can see that we can choose between PDF or XPS. Okay, simple as that. If I save it as a PDF, ish file format is the name of the file. Options is a tab that I can press for PDF, and you see the kind of options that you would have normally normally seen before. The, the options will be the options that you'd expect to see for the application you're using. If you're using Excel, you'll see Excel options. Do you want to include, include grid lines? Do you want to use this? Do you want to use that? Do you want to? So, and Word will have its own set of options. OK. So I click OK, click Publish, and that document will be saved in the My Documents area of my machine as a PDF. So same again, we go down to Save As, PDF or XPS, one more time. This time we're going to save it as an XPS document. Options again, same options appear. Click Publish, off it goes, publishing again. So we've got two files now. We've got, we've got the PDF version, we've got the XPS version. Once this is done, we're going to quickly go and have a look at the Explorer window to see what kind of files I've got in my document. So I'm going to minimize my PowerPoint because I don't need that at the moment. I'm going to bring up the My Documents folder, which is where my files are, are, are kept. And you'll see that we've got ishfileformats.xps and ishfileformats.pdf. OK, so these are, these are the ones that we just created now. Oop, one there, and we've got one here. Now, what do you notice about them? Do, do you see the little icons on the left-hand side? Right here. You see this little icon here? That does not look like a PDF icon. And that doesn't look like an icon that, that, that seems valid to Windows. So with, with that in mind, with, with having a look at the little icons on the left-hand side, Mo, what do you reckon that suggests? Uh, that we don't have PDF or XPS reader installed. Absolutely right. We don't have a PDF reader and we don't have an XPS reader. In some cases, if you really want to get techno, we, could, we, we might have had them installed but not link them to the extension type. But in this particular case, I can agree that we don't have them. So if I was to try and double-click one of these, ish file formats .pdf, it says I don't, the Windows doesn't, have, doesn't know how to open them up. So you're just proving again the fact that being able to publish as a PDF and an XPS does not mean that you can open them up. Now